Keeping masks optional for students and changing the quarantine requirements if they're exposed to COVID-19 in school. Now, those were the big decisions made in the Fort Zumwalt School District. Our Sydney Stallworth joins us now live outside of Rock Creek Elementary in O'Fallon, Missouri, with more on these new policies. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning, Rennie. That's right. Starting Monday, students here at Rock Creek Elementary and at schools across the Fort Zumwalt School District will be able to decide whether or not they wear a mask. And school officials say if a student is exposed to COVID-19 while they are wearing a mask, they have some new policies for how that student should quarantine. Now, yesterday, the school board voted unanimously 6-0 to zero to lift the mask mandate they put in place last month. Here's a look at how Fort Zumwalt School District is doing in comparison to Francis Howell and St. Charles County as a whole. It's just below the state average of 7.8% COVID positivity rate. And as far as St. Charles County goes, 50% of the residents have gotten both doses of the vaccine. Now the district also adopted a modified quarantine program. Now students who are exposed to COVID while wearing a mask can still go to classes in person as long as they monitor their symptoms for the next 14 days and keep a mask on when they're inside. But if that student can show proof of a negative COVID test during that time, they only have to monitor their symptoms symptoms for seven days as long as the student has tested after the fifth day of quarantine and they have no symptoms. Now students in the modified quarantine program cannot do any extracurricular activities during this quarantine period though. Now if the student wasn't wearing a mask while they were exposed to COVID, unfortunately they do not apply to these new COVID guidelines as far as quarantine goes and these new policies go into effect at the end of the day on Friday. And O'Fallon, Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Thank you, Sydney.